Now we're going to assemble our frame. Um, right off the bat, uh, we'll tell you on the slave pin, if you look at this little sleeve that goes into the back, it goes into the frame. Back here, this is where your uh, grip retainer screws go in. If you want to make your job a whole lot easier, you want to cut your um, slave pin. Like I said, I used a piece of uh, Dremel rod. But you need to have it where it just does fit in here. This this is threaded. See it has threads in here. You want this to just be slightly smaller than the thread so it will fit through. And you want it to just be just slightly longer on each side so that when you put it in the frame you'll have a part sticking inside this hole and inside this hole where it holds it but it has to be flush enough to where it'll slide down into the frame without catching in here so that is if you make it too small when you're trying to hold all this together and you tilt it up your pins gonna fall out real easily you want one that's gonna be like I said just small enough to fit through those threads like so and that will make your life so much easier it kinda looks like a, a watch pin for a band for a watch all right so <clears throat> first thing we want to do is we have our trigger bar your trigger bar and your trigger bar pivot has a slot that it fits in uh, up at the top like so and in your frame on your trigger you have this little groove right here you'll slide this down in here and line it up like so then you can put your screw start your screw you don't really need to tighten it up you just need to start it so that that pivot doesn't fall out you can always go back you see that'll move you can always go back and hook your trigger bar under it but you have to have your trigger bar down underneath the frame assembly so it'll move back and forth to actuate your hammer so you have to put that in first and then we have to install our hammer so basically here is the hammer it'll orientate like this and your hammer spring will go around your hammer like so and you'll put all this into the frame and push your pin through this hole right here now your hammer retainer pin it does have a lip on it and if you look at the frame you'll see this little groove you'd think it would go there but actually it goes on this side and pops through because if not that uh, head of this sticking through on this side your uh, trigger bar will uh, interfere with it and it'll cause you some problems make your hammer want to bind up so just a note 
best thing I know to do is to put this in the vise because I don't have 15 hands. So let's set it up on the vise and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, easiest way is to put this in a vise. I just take a couple of pieces of leather and hook underneath this little lip in the top of the uh, frame. But you want to have both of these holes exposed so you can work on them. Then you can just sit that all down in the vise. Now you don't want to over tighten this because these will compress, they'll flex, and they'll be all distorted, been out of place. And that's not what you want. So basically you'll find a punch that'll go through it all. Put your spring around your hammer like so. Put it into the frame. and you're capture it all alright you have it inside your vise like this with a punch through with a hammer in and the spring round hammer and then you can just chase it all back through like so with your pin in place now your hammer and spring is in place Take your slave pin, put it inside your little retainer. Basically, so what's going to happen is when you do this, is you want the little leg of this spring. on top of this bar so I want to be able to push your retainer out just so you can get your spring over like so that way it gives it pressure when it comes back and your slave pin holds everything into place now we're going to take our frame assembly out holding pressure on uh, the slave pin and sleeve like so and then you will put your slide stop lever in this little hole right here facing that way and you want to try and hold it all together grab your frame and all of this will sit down all right Got our slave pin in. We got the frame slid in there. We have the slide stop lever. And it goes in like so. And then everything should slide down into the frame and all you want to do 
since you've got your slave pin here that you want to take the socket head cap screw that's in the frame and go ahead and start it you don't want to tighten it down you just want to grab the first couple of threads that's where everything doesn't fly apart because you have to be able to put in this spring now this spring it doesn't matter which way you face it it just has to go with this if you're holding the gun like this this is your uh, hammer um, bar and this is your um, slide stop so basically your spring has to go underneath this side and you have to push it down into place to where this leg is underneath this bar and this leg is over top of the other bar uh, and it does take some finagling if I can do it on camera I will give it my best but I promise nothing <laughs> sometimes it's easier once you have your uh, trigger bar underneath the frame you can take this screw back out and take a pick and slide this back up like so and then you can put the spring into place with your trigger bar out of the way okay so you basically have to push this down into the groove on the frame so basically your spring should sit inside this recess you have your trigger bar up on top of this spring side of the spring and the um, slide release should be resting on top now what you have to do is you have to hook back in your trigger bar assembly retainer and you have to line this up with the grooves in the trigger and make sure that you have it seated all the way down into the trigger once you have it where it needs to be you can drop your screw in and start it but don't tight it, tighten it it's just you just want to hold uh, pressure on that trigger bar so it doesn't fall apart okay now we can take and line everything up inside of here and tighten our frame screw making sure that you captured everything in here and it appears that we have we'll just snug that down the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to replace the uh, rear grip screws uh, and as you do that basically you're gonna screw one side in and as you screw this in it should push your slave pin out on this side
but if you see that'll turn in there so you basically got to hold the retainer in place as the screw goes in and once it's started you see your slave pin starts to come out you can just take your slave pin completely out then line up your other side screw and start it in If you see, that as I'm turning this side, this screw's turning, so you're going to have to hold both screws while you tighten them down, just so that it doesn't turn. Now, if everything's together properly, you should be able to tighten up your trigger screw. And then we'll just reinstall our slide. All right. With it all back together, one thing you do want to check and make sure it's not going to hurt to dry fire it because it's not going to hit anything, right? Because sometimes if you don't have this screw right here, it torques down and it'll slide, this piece right here will pop up out of the top. So basically what you want to do is once you have it all together, is you can just take this screw and if you can turn it to enough where it actuates the trigger, that's as snug as you want to be. Make sure that your internal frame screw is torqued down where it needs to be. This is plastic, so you don't want to just overly he-man torque it. And then make sure that your rear screws are tight. then it works alright the last step we're going to do is we're going to drop our barrel into our frame into our slide put it into orientation uh, get our um, guide rod and spring I did give it a light coat of oil so I just want to wipe the excess off you want to make sure that your recoil guide rod spring and everything is lined up perfectly then you can put together the upper and lower half because this is not lined up perfectly it won't catch in the spring I want to ride back with the receiver like so that's not what you want and then it doesn't want to come back apart so everything has to be lined up just right see how it's off centered that won't never work Go ahead and cock it back, set your pin in, take a punch, set it just 
below the frame on both sides and now your Grendel P12 functions put the magazine in everything locks back should be ready to go to the range and test out